Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, opinion of course, Bob. I bet you it's in our opinion, Brad. And you know what? People are probably wondering, Brad, why do we have a bowling ball here with a stick sticking out? I bet you they are wondering. Well, then what we're going to get right to that. What we're trying to show you today is the one thing you should do to try to help stop your neck from hurting. Right. This is probably, with, I'd say the majority of cases that we see, most of them are caused by bad posture. And, right. and specifically, they're caused by what we call the forward neck posture. Yeah. I now, can't take it, Bob. I don't want to look at you. Okay, he doesn't want to look at me that long. But the thing is, where are you often going to find out that you're doing forward neck posture, Brad? At a computer. At a computer. Watching TV. Watching TV just about throughout much of your day. Driving like, the car. Driving the car, mm -hmm. eating, you know, mm -hmm. eating your soup. You know, they, they're all, the thing is, that's the problem. We're in a society where we spend a lot of our time sitting and a lot of our time with our head forward like this. Now, let's just talk about that just a little all bit. Right. Okay, if you set up a good posture, Bob, uh, a little bit forward so the people can see us there. Now, the weight of his head is going straight down, balancing over his neck. Now, with head forward posture, now there's nothing below his head, and gravity wants to pull down. The muscles back here are working like crazy to keep your head from falling down. Come back up, in head forward posture, there you go. There, as they work hard, they become tired and painful, and the spine itself is becoming stressed, putting you at risk for a herniated disc in your spine. Right, and the thing is, what you're gonna feel when you have this type of problem is you're gonna feel pain in possibly the muscles up here, the upper trapezius, yeah. between the shoulder blades, mm -hmm. in the neck, and possibly you can get headaches from oh, this yeah. too, especially if you have headaches that start from the base of your neck, and go up and around. Mm -hmm. That's common from this type of problem. So this is going to. This is a great way to demonstrate to you how difficult or how how much stress you're putting on the muscles of your neck when you do the forward neck posture. Did we introduce Wilson? We didn't introduce Wilson. Wilson the bowling ball. This is Wilson the bowling ball, and Wilson weighs about the same amount as my head because I've got brains that way a lot, right, Brad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably not. But anyway. It weighs about 10 to 12 pounds, which the normal head weighs. And just to demonstrate to you how much stress there is on the muscles of your, your neck when you're trying to hold the head in a forward head posture. So, yeah. so this represents the head, and his arm and wrist muscles represent your neck muscles. Right. Now hold Wilson in good posture. Right. And if my neck's in good posture, my head, and the Wilson's in good posture, I can, I can actually do this with one hand, Brad. Yep. That just shows you how a little bit of... Uh, muscle it takes to hold it in, in, in good posture. But as soon as I go like this... Mm, Wilson's looking forward. All right, and Brad's got me on a timer, yep. Okay, Brad. Yep. Now that there is actually a lot of stress on my wrists, and I'm starting to feel, you know, where you can actually start to feel pain yeah. you know, after a while. we got 11 seconds so far. Well, Bob. imagine doing this all day. That's right. 11 seconds. Imagine doing this at the office all day long. By the way, the reference to Wilson, in case you didn't catch it, is, uh, is a reference to the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks. Right. Where he's got, we didn't decide, is it a soccer ball or a volleyball? I think it's a, a volleyball. A volleyball, and he's on this island all by himself, and William Wilson, Wilson. gets a face with a muddy hand, and he becomes his buddy. Right. Watch the movie, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a, if you like watching. How's your wrist? My feel? wrists are starting to burn now, Brad. What are we at? We're at 48 seconds. So imagine again. So one of the problems that we often see with this is when people have laptop computers or computers where their monitor is too low. As soon as your monitor is too low, what are you going to do? You're going to go like this. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure the monitor, if you're in good posture, and i got to go up, Brad. So your wrist are hurting, aren't they? Yeah. You want to make sure is that when, when you're in good posture, that the top of your monitor is about level with the top of your head. Right. If it isn't, you're going to go ahead and creep down like this. If you have a laptop computer, what you can do, and you know, I did this with my wife, we actually got her a separate keyboard, and we got her a stand for the, the laptop, so she can put it on there, and she can type down here, and she can look, look up here and, and stop, because she was developing forward neck posture. Sure. I mean, it was, yeah. it was getting bad. What's the exercise you can do, Brad, to help correct forward neck posture? Well, you head. can call it retraction, but I call it the chin tuck, and you simply sure. tuck the chin in. You don't have to push your finger there, but it's like this. Yep. Tuck it in. You do a bunch of reps, I mean, every, I would say every hour, every 20 oh, yeah. minutes, uh, you know, you can do these a lot. There's no negative effect to doing these. Right. It's just all it does, one, it helps strengthen the muscle a little bit that pull you back, 
The other thing, it gives you the reminder that, hey, I was like this, now I'm like this. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. this is... The problem with when you have your head like this a long time, it begins to feel normal. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you think, no, I, I got good posture. I look like this, you know. And then you see yourself on camera and you go, oh, my God, I look like an old nah. man. And, and <laughs> you realize that in order to be straight, you really have to correct and do right. the retractions. Right. So do the neck retractions or cervical retractions or chin tucks. Chin tucks. I like chin yeah, he tucks. He likes chin tucks. Yeah. And some people do actually take their hand brand and go oh, like I this. Do. You better yep. believe it. A little extra stretch. Yep. All right. This is all going to help you, especially if you're 40 and over. You're going to want to subscribe to us. Or we send Wilson to send you a message. Mm. He'll go through your windshield. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wilson along. is the gatekeeper. That's right. Say, say goodbye, Wilson. Bye. There, there you go. Bye.